Good day, viewers. Let's look at the solution to this uh, problem. And here we are finding the value of x. So let's expand what we have on the right hand side here first. Then we have s cube plus 1 equals to expansion of this one will give us x square. Then plus 5 square. That's 25. Then minus 2 times x times 5. That's minus 10x. And from there now we can try to bring everything to one side. Let's take everything on the on the right here to the left. So as to form an equation there. So we have s cube. Then take s square here. That's minus s square. Let's take x now to to arrange it as plus 10x. Then plus 25 come here. Become minus 25. Then plus 1 minus 25. That's minus 24. Then equals 0. We form a cubic equation here now. And when we inspect this one now, we substitute s equals to 2. We are going to have everything equals to 0. Because 2 cubed, that's 8, minus 2 squared, that's 4, that's 2 there. 8 minus 4, that's 2. Then 2 times 10, that's 20, 20 plus 2, 24. 24 minus 24, that gives us 0. It's telling you that x, 2, x equals to 2 is a factor. Therefore, I mean, is the root, is the root of this product. Therefore, x equals to 2 is a root, then we can now say that x minus 2, of course, will be a factor. x minus 2 will be a factor, that is, it will divide this without a remainder. So, we already know a factor of this now. We already have a factor. Now, let's get the other two factors by dividing this polynomial now with the first factor that we know. So, when we divide the polynomial with the factor that we know we have we have the polynomial s cubed minus s square plus 10x minus 24 now we want to divide it by x minus 2 then from the division of polynomial x we go when x go in s cube that remains s square that means s squared, then we use s squared to multiply these two. That's s squared times x, that's s cubed. Then s squared times minus 2, that's minus 2s squared. So we subtract now. When we subtract from here, we have s cubed minus s cubed. Now we have minus s squared minus minus 2s squared. That's minus s squared plus 2s squared. This will give us s squared here. Then s square. Then let's bring this 10x down. Then that's plus 10x minus 24. Bring what is left of that. Also, again, we repeat that x going in s square as well. That's plus x now. Then use x to multiply these two again. We have x times x. That's s square. Then x times minus 2. That's minus 2x. So let's subtract again. When we subtract again, we have s square minus s square gone. So 10x minus minus 2x. That will give us 12x. 12x. Then let's bring minus 2 down. So when we repeat that again, x go in 12x. That's plus 12. Then use plus 12 to multiply again. 12 times x, that's 12x. 12 times minus 2, that's minus. Sorry, yeah, this is 24, yeah, sorry. This is also 24. Then minus 24. And by the time we subtract again, we have, yeah, 0, 0. Because 12x minus 12x, 0. Then 12, 24, minus 24, minus, minus 24. 
Okay, it was zero to three. That therefore we get we have used the factor to divide this you know equation here. Then the remainder now is now a quadratic equation. We have a quadratic equation as a remainder, so we have these factors now. From the cubic equation, we have x minus two is a factor. Also, we have the remainder now that is x squared plus x plus twelve now. Then this is equals to zero. We have been able to simplify that cubic equation. Then we can say from here that x equals to x minus two equals to zero. From here we can say x equals to two from here. And let's get the remaining value of x from this side. Now we have x square plus x plus twelve equals equals to zero plus twelve equals to zero. Now when we use the formula that say x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. Here our a is 1, our b is also 1, and our c is 12. So by the time we put it there now, we cannot see that x will now give us minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared, that's 1, minus 4 ac, that's 4 times 1 times 12, and 4 times 12, that's 48, minus 48, then divided by 2a, that's 2 times 1, that's 2. So therefore, when we simplify this now, we can see that we have x equals to So from there we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of, here we have 1 minus 48, that's minus 47, then all over 2. So we have a complex number here now. So these are the possible value of x that we have. The first is x equals to 2, we have x equals to 2, and we also have this possible two solution here x equals to plus or minus minus one plus or minus square root of minus 47 over 2 which you can write this one as root 47 high because it's a complex number we say thank you for joining us if you are yet to subscribe to this channel don't forget to click on the subscription button see you in the next class and bye for now